Thank you all for coming. So today is blank. How to be a networking pro. Who here is comfortable or uncomfortable with networking? Oh, that's, that's a weird question. Who here is uncomfortable with networking? Raise your hand. Good. I don't like to see any hand. I don't want to see any hand raised. All right. So when you go to a networking event, what's it like? Describe it to me. What was it to a networking event? Sorry. Yeah. When you go to a networking event, what, what's it like? Busy drinks, organized fun. Yeah, engaging. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, wonderful. I got the best class already. <laughs> so, how many of you are familiar with the acronym Ford? F O R D. Now, I'm not talking about Ford Motor, Motor Company, but but Ford. F O R D. You know it, Whitney. Yep. Yep. Dreams, desire, same thing. Yeah, that's synonymous. So when he's on the point, family, occupation, recreation, and dreams. You usually do that with your leads and clients. But in networking, you're not talking to leads or clients. You're talking to another professional, another agent, another person in the industry, a lender, uh, a home warranty representative, uh, anyone, right? So. I always say this, you start with the O first, all right? We're gonna jumble it up, a little word scramble. Occupation, what do you do, all right? So hey, my name's Kush, I'm a realtor with Lifestyle Real Estate. I specialize in clients who are, their price point is between 500 to 5 million. How can I be of service, you know? Keep it short and concise, occupation is first. Afterwards, FRD. Now that's determined upon who you're talking to. If the person you're talking to is kind of reserved, Maybe they don't want to talk about their family. So take out the F, all right? Go straight to recreation. What do you like to do for fun? Well, for me, uh, man knows this, I like to make tiramisu, even though I haven't made that in a very long time. Uh, I like to play some sports, like ultimate frisbee. Um, I like to do some video editing. I like to watch movies, TV shows. What do you want to do for fun, all right? Showcase your personality. You want to be different than all those other agents who are just saying, Oh, uh, yeah, I like to help clients. All right, good stuff. All right, what else do you like? Come on, what else? All right, so we got the, got the F and O right there. Uh, R is done. D, I always kind of change it like this. So if you're networking with another professional, what do you hope to get out of this professional business relationship? Can you send me leads? Can you send me good offers? Uh, if you are a company that does junk removal, for example, uh, we will really give my clients a discount. You know, that's a dream right there. So when you approach an event, the first thing you gotta do before you even go there is you gotta do your homework. What what kind of event are you going to? Be prepared. All right. Uh, research who is already going on Facebook. If it's a Facebook event, it says going and interested. If they're interested, they're most likely they're going. Right. Uh, so research, who are the people that you are going to expect to see over there? Prepare a short elevator pitch. Who wants to be a volunteer? Oh, I called you all on the spot, didn't I? <laughs> all right, I'll be the volunteer. Kind of like just what I said earlier, okay? Your name, what you do, you know, who you are, what you do, a little bit of background on like what you can do also. So I, I said I service clients between 500,000 to 5 million. That's my sweet spot. I really thrive in that price range, right? Use that to your advantage. That's your talking point to build a conversation, right? So someone's gonna be like, oh, okay, that's a good price point. How do you, uh, how does that work with clients? And then that just talks, that just goes into a uh, conversation, which builds into something else, right? So always prepare a short elevator pitch. Do it when you're driving to the event. Do it in your sleep the night before, whatever, you know. Uh, I've done it sometimes in the shower, you know, and the five minute shower turned into an 18 minute shower. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I didn't like that water bill. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, even Kentucky American Water knows, oh, Kush is doing networking practice. Uh, and lastly, bring along some physical business cards. Now we're gonna be going over to the digital business card in a little bit. However, you're gonna come across someone who doesn't even know what the internet is. And that's okay, you know, we shouldn't judge them. They're from a different time period. That sounds bad for me to say. They're, 
they're, they're from a different time, right? When the internet was not so prevalent, when they were, you know, engaging highly in their career. And that's okay. It's important that we don't forget about other people. So you can never go wrong with the basics. Make sure you have physical business cards. I say minimum of 10 uh, because you want to leave with having met at least 10 people. Show genuine interest. I can tell you right now, I've been talking, I was at a couple events, uh, I was at an event a couple months ago. I was talking with someone and I could not wait for that conversation to end. They were so boring, oh my gosh. But you cannot be rude and you can't just say, hey buddy, <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta go. You're just plain boring, I'm sorry. You can't be like that, right? You gotta be nice, respectful, all right? So show genuine interest, all right? Ask, listen uh, actively, all right? Your body language, all right? If you're like, kind of like this, but they're like right here, it's not really like you're engaging, right? Feet pointed directly towards the individual. You're not in their critical space, right? Okay, this is the person right here, I'm not like, yeah, 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 okay, you're not like that, right? Okay, so have good distance. Um, ask thoughtful questions, all right? Questions that are engaging, questions that are open-ended. And that way, the conversation persists, and it may be, go from boring to more interesting, right? You never know. So definitely show genuine interest. Uh, yeah, we talked about be respectful, don't be pushy. Um, and don't overstay your welcome. You know, sometimes you gotta go out and shoot the dog. Is that a sign? I don't know. But, <laughs> but you might know what I mean by that. It you is know? now. It is now. <laughs> I love dogs, by the way. For the record, I do love dogs. I've never done such a thing, ever. It's being recorded. <laughs> so, you know, like sometimes something just drags on for too long and you know, you gotta just say, okay, well, it's been great meeting you and here's the next thing. You don't just say, all right, goodbye, and just walk away, right? Make sure they have your business card, make sure you have their business card, and on top of that, the follow-up. All right, are we doing coffee? Are we doing lunch? Are we going to Kings Island? What are we doing, you know? If we go to Kings, someone actually, no, yeah, that's why now, I, yeah, someone asked me to come to Kings Island with them. That's why I said Kings Island. I was like, why did I just say that, you know? But um, yeah, definitely you wanna follow up with them, all right? We are in a relationship-based business. We try to do so with our clients, and it only makes sense that we do so with our vendors and our fellow agents as well. Also, like, this networking is one of the best things to help you win offers for your buyers. I've been in multiple offer situations where uh, the agent knew who I was, and they didn't know the other agents, and they chose us because, yeah, Kush, I know Kush, yeah, let's work with Kush. And then the seller didn't know. The seller is gonna look to you, the listing agent, and they're gonna ask you, okay, I have all these offers, all these agents, I just wanna close on the damn house, okay? What is gonna get the closing done? Which agent's gonna deliver? Maybe it's John Doe, maybe it's Jane Doe, never know, right? So definitely uh, be on that. And finally, be consistent. Practice, talk in front of a mirror. I do that sometimes, it's, it sounds weird, I know, it does sound weird, but when you talk in front of a mirror, you, you see exactly what you look like, right? How is your facial expression, right? I got a unibrow. Most people don't know that, all right? All right? And I've caught people even say, you have a unibrow? Yeah, I do. It looks like two eyebrows, but I got something right here. So it's a unibrow. I'm like Anthony Davis. But, you know, definitely uh, be consistent in that. Uh, attend events regularly. Uh, and definitely want to make sure you're following up with every single person, even if that was an individual that you may not work with. It's okay. Still, you know, build that database because there's one day where you're going to need that individual. And if you didn't build a relationship, it's kind of weird. Just, hey, you know, like we kind of met like three years ago. Can you do this for me? That's weird, right? That's very weird. So, um, again, be professional and uh, be yourself. Does anyone have any questions before we get to the fun part? No. All right, let's get to the fun part. So let's all get up. I'm going to move the camera. Uh, are you guys in there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty good at All right, so get out your phone, and uh, if you're watching online, uh, get out your phone. We're going to go to the app store. I'm assuming everyone here has an iPhone, right? 
Does everyone have an iPhone? We all do, yeah. All right, I'm the only one here with the Android. Okay, wonderful. All right. Don't worry, I'll go to the dark side soon. Don't worry. All right. So go to the App Store. You're going to type in Blink. B-L-I-N-Q. We are now going to be making your digital business card. It is free to use. I sound like a salesperson for Blink, this don't I? This is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's got like a B, a weird B with a pink uh, fuchsia red background. Yeah, fuchsia. Oh, that's, yeah. So I have the logo pulled up on the screen right here. You want to come closer and see? The logo looks like that. So you're going to download the app. So we're going to just take a couple moments. If you're watching online, uh, we're just going to take a couple moments to download the app. So, open the app and it's going to say create my card. We're just going to follow the steps. And I, I've already made mine, so I, I don't really remember what the steps were, so you'll probably have to help me out what, what the steps are. Uh, so, create my card. It's going to ask for, I believe, your first and last name. Uh, type in the name that you use publicly. You know, uh, my name is Kush. Sometimes I go by Kevin. I don't use Kevin though professionally, right? So, type that in. After name, what comes up after name? Company. 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 Lifestyle, real estate, or uh, we have a couple visitors here. Definitely put your company. Okay. After company, if you're that for uh, far long, what's next? Website. Company website. So your website. All right. If you have KB Core, it's your first name, last name. Dot lifestyle real estate dot com. And if you have a domain from, let's say, GoDaddy or something, type that in. So the lifestyle is what? First name, last name. Yeah. First name, last name. Dot lifestyle real estate dot com. Profile picture. Let's get you the headshot. Let's get that headshot in uh, for your profile picture. If, please do put your most recent one. Uh, I know I'm only 25, but if I were 45 and I put a picture of me when I was 25, that'd be very weird, you know? It's kind of a little Easter egg dig to some agents whose profile pictures are over 20 years old. Always update it. If you can't find that uh, profile photo of you or uh, your headshot that you use currently, it's okay. Just put a temporary placeholder of a photo of yourself for now. This company logo. Company logo. If, go ahead and put lifestyle logo. If you don't have the lifestyle logo on your phone, uh, go ahead and put a placeholder. Yes, Dylan? I can send I can send. Okay, perfect. So if you don't have it, uh, including our friends here in uh, Coos Bay, Oregon, uh, we will send you the company logo. That's even better. That's even better. And so if you can see, look at this uh, the screen right here. I have a custom logo. It's my logo right there. I'm in compliance with the state with having the brokerage name there. Um, you know, get a little, if you have your own lifestyle logo, I encourage you to use it. You know, I know a couple teams in our company have their own logo. Uh, Dylan, you have your own logo too. Yeah. So use your own logo if you have one. Yeah. So far, where are we at? Okay. All 
writing logos? Okay. So writing logos right now, we'll just take a minute for that. Make sure you do click on uh, yes or confirm, something like that. And then what's the following screen after that? Uh, easy navigation. Yes. So your phone's going to be watching your back, like how it should be. And uh, you're going to want to allow the location. The reason why you're allowing location is so Blink knows where you met. Did you meet at the football stadium? Did you meet on Mars? Like, like where did you meet, right? So. That'd be cool. That'd be the ultimate networking experience meeting on Mars. Actually, I don't know about that helmet. Yeah. That's why I like Blink. Uh, it'll like remind you, like, okay, where did I meet John Doe again? I don't remember. Was it a bar? Was it a country club? You know, like, where was it? That really helps. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so after that, what's our next screen? Select the color. Alright, what's your favorite color? Me, my favorite color is blue. But, you know, use whatever color you like. And the reason why you're selecting color, if you can look in the screen right here, the colors of the buttons and the icons, that's what the color is going to be. All right, what's next? Okay, it says personal email. It says personal email, don't use your personal email, use your business email. Use your business email. So, after you chose the color, what were after that? Um, email was a email. Email password. Yeah. Email to add an email. Okay, that's not an email. Computer users. Don't use the password. No, you can use this. Okay. Who here is finished with a long email no password? So, we'll just get a couple more minutes. <laughs> Good challenge. <laughs> no, peanut butter and capital P is one, two, three. Okay. She just got it. Password entered is, is invalid. Are we supposed to use sign in? Use a sign in? We need to call the special character to use a special character. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, it does say special character. Thanks. I didn't have my glasses on. So, you know, scratch the end of our eyes. Can I catch it and go to the table? Yes, I'm sure. It's okay. 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 So, it's going to say at the widget, just click on the orange icon on the bottom corner. And, uh, 
After that, you should see your digital business card. Has anyone seen it? Raise your hand if you don't see it. What's up? Oh, no, I see it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbs up for good? Yes. Where is it? Like, I was going to say that I did. Are you? Good? Thumbs up. Now, the board's still up. Okay. Can we go back and have a picture and watch that logo? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I'll, I'll have your class on the board with you. Yeah. Well, I've got, um, have, like, a picture. Any good pictures? Any picture of yourself. Prefer it would be your business. I've got 74 on 75 hard fish. I'm not doing that. I'm doing that too. Sure. I'm alright. My progress photos aren't going to be good. Although I lost some weight, but still. I'm four pounds. But you got a lot more muscles. I'm still doing the power. We're good to go? And then I think you can either send it in or they can like just. Alright. So if you see on the screen, uh, All right, I'm going to switch the camera a little bit, actually, so everyone can see. If you can see on the screen, we've got the QR code. That's what people are going to be scanning. So let's go ahead and stand up, and let's start scanning each other's QR codes. Yeah. Can you see any QR codes? You should have these all the time. They scan your QR code. If you have a blink yourself, you can send your contact information back. Thank you. 